Hey you guys, welcome to Dreamy Strokes. I'm really sorry for such a late upload. So today I'm going to create this cut crease eyeliner. So stay tuned for the tutorial. So firstly, I'm going to prep my skin with a facial mist and I'm looking really tired but couldn't help. So I'm just dabbing the mist under my eyes for reducing the puffiness so now i'm using a moisturizer it, it's by uh, the wow skin science and it's really hydrating and moisturizing and kinds of wakens up your skin also so then i'm going to uh, moisturize my lips with a uh, lip balm this is the maybelline baby lips it's in the watermelon version so then for concealing the dark spots, I'm using a concealer, it's by Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the shade medium. So I'm going to spot conceal my acne scars under my eyes. So then I'm going to blend it out with a buffing brush in a very tapping motion. I'm not going to drag the product. Then I'm going to blend it really well into my skin. For foundation, I'm taking Maybelline Dreamy Satin Foundation in the shade B4 and I'm going to blend it out with a beauty sponge. This is a very dewy finish skin like foundation. So today I chose this because I wanted a skin like finish. For brightening my under eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer under my eyes. Also applying on my smile line and blending it out with a beauty sponge. For baking my under eyes, I'm using the Blue Heaven Translucent Powder. It's in the shade Natural and I'm going to be, be keeping the baking under my eyes and I'm also going to uh, slightly give a shape to my jawline with the help of the powder. Then for contouring my uh, face, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. It's in the shade Caramel Toffee and I'm taking the darker shade and contouring the hollows of my cheeks and also my jawline. So again to give a shape to my contour, I'm using the same translucent powder and cutting my contour and also cutting the sides of my nose for nose contouring. So I'm contouring my nose with a small, uh, slightly angular brush for the precise application. And I'm doing my brows off screen. Then I'm just setting my eyelids with some translucent powder for the upcoming eye look with the help of a beauty sponge. For the eye look, I am just applying a transition shade over my crease for giving a shape. So giving a shape to my eyeliner first with a concealer and a small precise brush. I'm first drawing the shape really well because I'm going to apply shadow on top of it for maximum pigmentation. I'm using a concealer first and giving it a shape. Uh, 
after letting the concealer dry i'm using the uh, kind of turquoise shade and just placing the color really well over the lined concealer for that maximum pigmentation so in this manner i put the color all over the concealer that i placed on my eyelids and i'm done with both of my eyes For mascara, I'm using Maybelline Hyper Curl Mascara. It's in the washable version and I'm going to coat my lashes really well because in this look, I'm not going to wear any falsies. Make sure that the blue pigment touch your lash line really well because I'm not going to tight line my waterline because I'm going to keep this eye look away from any black lines. So yeah. Then I'm going to take the button wild highlighter and I'm going to highlight my brow bone for completing a look and also my inner corners. Then I'm going to take that blue glitter and it's insanely pigmented and I'm putting it into the inner one third. Now I'm applying a blush, it's by Maybelline, on the apples of my cheeks and also on the nose and my chin as I always do. So for highlighter I'm taking Wet n Wild Liquid Highlighter, it's in the shade uh, I guess uh, Gilded Gold and I'm going to dot it over my high planes of my face. It's really pigmented so make sure you apply less. And firstly spreading it out with my fingers and you can see how much pigmented is that. And then for just giving it a more skin like effect I'm going to tap it with a beauty sponge. I'm going to retouch the eyeshadow really well for maximum pigmentation. So I'm done with the makeup and I just set it with a setting spray. Now for lipstick, I'm using NYX. This is the powder puff lipstick. It's in the shade Moody. It's a really nice warm purple shade. So I'm done with the look. Hope you guys like this tutorial. You can customize this look with any color of your choice. I chose turquoise because that matches my outfit. But you can obviously customize it according to your preference. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel and help me grow. And please give your feedbacks in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for my next video. Love you guys a lot and keep supporting. Thank you.